Hi, Flick here for the Nerd Soapbox, and today we're at Comic Con Revolution Ontario with a special guest, Paul Letting. Hi, hey. Paul. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine. How are you doing? All is well. All is well. So, so Paul is mm -hmm. a voice actor and uh, well, an, act, an actor, actor, actor and voice yeah, actor, yeah. and uh, well, he's best known to the Soapbox gang for uh, well such roles as uh, he was in Transformers and uh, Metal Gear Solid. Starcraft, Ben 10, and uh, oh, he's a co-writer of a little comic called Lastosaurus. Yes, yeah. I, yes, I am. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, but, so when you were growing up, did you read comics or uh, watch cartoons? What were you? What was your fandom growing up? Oh boy, uh, I liked comic books. All right. But I was one of those weird kids. I didn't like, uh, I didn't like Batman and those kind of comics. Right. I liked the silly ones, you know. And Archie, okay. I liked Archie, and I liked uh, you know the typical Donald Duck sort of things, right. you know that sort of stuff. Uh, and of course, I loved cartoons. You know, who didn't love cartoons? They did have cartoons Back when then? I was young. Yeah, did they put the project them out of cables? Or yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Daffy Duck was my favorite. It was actual duck at the time. It was, yeah, actual duck. <laughs> he didn't last long in our house, but it was tasty. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God! Yes, um, so okay. So tell me, um, you're you're part of the uh, the writing team for that all ages comic book Blastosaurus. Um, could you tell me a little bit about it? Yes, Blastosaurus is uh, is about a six foot tall mutant triceratops mm. who hangs out with a couple of twelve year old kids, and they uh, solve crimes. They fight creatures from uh, other dimensions. Okay. Bad robots. Anything that comes along that. Uh, Scares people in Freak Out City. Uh, Blastosaurus and the kids. Can is take there to the, help? Yeah. yeah, and it's pretty funny. Yeah. It, it, who's the, and your co-writers? Who's the other writer? Richard Fairgray right. actually um, created the Blastosaurus uh, back in New Zealand oh. many years ago. Okay. And it was more a graphic novel then. And when he when we met at a at a Comic Con right. in New Zealand. He wanted to make it more uh, accessible to younger folks and also for the United States. Okay. So we started writing together, and it's uh, now an all-ages comic. And uh, some of the reviews have been that uh, it's the uh, humor of early Simpsons, which we think is pretty darn good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's who's, silly. Who's, uh, who's funnier, you or Richard? <laughs> Since I'm here? Yeah. Me. Me. Richard, however, is the artist. Okay. Uh, he's more talented than I. All right. But I'm funnier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right. Transformers. Perceptor. The most intelligent of the Autobots. <laughs> he was, I'm the guy who made children cry during the movie way back in 1986. Aww. Because I'm the one who says, I fear the wounds are fatal. Meaning that Optimus Prime didn't make it. Yeah, it was pretty sad. You okay? Ah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm better. I'm better. I'm better. Oh good. Well, <laughs> oh, What was it like working with such an amazing voice cast on uh, Transformers? Uh, the incredible thing for me was I was one of the uh, new boys to uh, Los Angeles. All right. I was one of the younger actors and I was working with people that I grew up listening to uh, and it blew me away it blew me away I, I, I said okay now I, I've arrived <laughs> now you've made it yeah. I've arrived yeah, yeah. so it was, it was amazing to be oh. working side by side with people that I had respected for years such as uh, oh Alan Oppenheimer oh, yeah. uh, Clive Revel who was a, a, a stage a, a actor on Broadway right. uh, he was in uh, Star Wars um, Clive Revel is a man who, when last we met about a month ago at right. another con, uh, did to me what actors, voice actors do to fans. Sometimes a fan will come up and say, oh, can you say something like um, Perceptor? <laughs> right. And you, I say, well, okay, close your eyes, and they'll close your eyes, and I'll say something, and they get excited. Or something from, I was in Incredibles 2, and I'll say, yes, um, the name's Reflux, medical conditioner superpower. And kids will laugh. Well, he did this to me. I told him that I loved him in, in Fagan, as Fagan in uh, a musical he did way back when I was young, a young actor, 
called uh, Oliver. Yeah, yeah. And he said, all right, come here. He came close to me. He was 88 years old. Uh -huh. Put his arms on my shoulders and sang. He said, close your eyes. And I did. And he sang the first verse of one of his songs. And it gave me chills. <laughs> wow. So it's those kind of guys that really blew me away that's, that I was working with. That's so cool. Well, okay, okay. So Star Trek. Yep. The next generation. Yep. I got to work with Marina Sirtis and uh, all the guys on. Uh, most of my work was with Marina. It's so awesome. Uh, Troy. Commander Troy. Okay, you were pretty cool already. And then you went, woo, like that, like woo. Like yeah, that, yeah. That, because yeah. Star I'm not Trek. cool for myself. I'm cool by, for the people that I associate with. No, no, no. <laughs> no, the, the work you've done is just like, whoa. And then, you know, the work, the voice work is here. And you're like here. Yeah. And then uh, Star Trek. <gasps> Star Trek. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Yeah, I love Star Trek. Yeah. Were you a fan of Star Trek before you did the gig? Of course. Yeah. Who is who's it? your favorite character? Or who's your favorite captain? Uh oh. Oh, that's Come a tough on. one. Come on. Oh, that's a tough one. Picard. I love Picard. Where? What? Yeah, I love Picard. I'm what? sorry. Okay, uh, Kirk. Uh, was that the right, right answer? Thank uh, you. Commander Kirk. <laughs> Can you do the uh, live long and prosper? Can you do the finger thing like oh, this? Yeah. No, no, like this. What? Like this. How you do it? Like this. Live long. Oh, live long. I don't know how you. How else do you do it? Live long and prosper. Uh, it's a puppet thing. I don't. Know. Oh, it's a puppet yeah. thing. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> well, okay. Other voice roles here. Um, do, do you have an obscure voice acting gig that uh, fans might be surprised that was you if they found out? Yes, I do. And oh, you want to know what it is? Oh, okay. Uh, it's it's a it's a, a cartoon that few people saw right. called The Toxic Crusaders. It was a trauma. Oh. Uh, it was based on the Toxic Avenger. Right. Yeah. And every week, all of the, all of, I was one of the Toxic Crusaders. Okay. Along and with Toxie. Along with Toxie. Uh, I was uh, a character called No Zone. Right. No Zone was a, had been a, a test pilot, a southern test pilot right. who flew through a hole in the ozone and crashed into a a vat of radioactive pepper. Pepper? It could happen. <laughs> and so my power, my power yeah. was sneezing. It was, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I sneezed, I could blow down a forest, okay? And my character's voice was like this. Yeah. And this is something we had to say yeah. every show. Yeah. And we are the hideously deformed creatures of superhuman size and strength. And then I would sneeze every once in a while. <laughs> Should I sneeze? I'm going to get everything wet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh. I should have a towel. Oh. I don't have a towel. Say it. Don't spray it. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, wow. Anyway. Yeah, so no zone was one of those. Wow. Things. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Pretty silly. It Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. Tell me, what, what's the question that uh, you're never asked but you'd like to be asked? Would you like this million dollars tax-free? That's a good question. Yeah. I like that. You, you'd like oh, to answer? Is that a squirrel over there? <laughs> squirrel? Yeah. Yeah. Squirrel? Uh, the answer is yes. I, I, I would take a million dollars tax-free. All right. So. And <laughs> what is this thing with the squirrels? Your affinity for squirrels. Oh, squirrel. Oh, what do you know about that? You I know. For squirrels. Yeah. I, what I, is this thing with the squirrels that live in your roof? I uh, okay. Yeah, I, I I feed my squirrels. We have we have uh, four squirrels. Used to be five. I don't know where the one went. Do you name them? Yeah. Yes. Yes. We did name them. What are their names? Uh, we have uh, <laughs> Handy because okay. he's got one little paw that only works like All that. Right. Uh, and we have. Uh, Oh God! Oh, should I say it? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, big balls. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. He's because of his hands, like that. Yeah, because of his hands, uh, he always balls him up like that. Uh, uh, and we have um, oh gosh, who is it? Oh, um, two more. Sweet pea. Sweet pea. That was my my wife named that one. All right. And for no particular reason, Horace. Horace. Horace the squirrel. I have no idea why. All right. I, 
I, I don't know why. And apparently they just, uh, you feed them on command? Uh, yes. Uh, people will walk out my front door, and if they don't have uh, some peanuts in their right. hand, uh, the squirrel, we have a front gate, yeah. and the roof is low-hanging, and it jumps across the gate onto the to the wall. The squirrel. That's there. The squirrels okay. do. Not the, not the things. <laughs> uh, and as you walk out to the gate, there will usually be a squirrel sitting there waiting right. for a peanut. Yeah. And then we've had we've had some friends freak out yeah. because we forgot to tell them the squirrels were there. So they walk out and the squirrel will jump across them <laughs> onto the fence and then wait for, for the a, peanut. For a peanut. For the yeah. payoff. Yeah. So we, we, we do feed our our squirrels. <laughs> but I know there are some people that call them uh, the tree rats, but we we like our squirrels. Yeah. You know? What's your uh, what's your peanut? Uh, you know, how much you spend on peanuts per month? Oh, we buy the huge bags from Costco. <laughs> <laughs> and a, a huge bag glass is actually used maybe a month, month and a half. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what happens when guests come over and they just start eating the peanuts? They think it's theirs. <laughs> we actually did. That did happen once. There was a young man who was a, a musician that uh, wrote some music for right. uh, a video for, for Blastosaurus. And he came over and he saw the huge bag of peanuts. <laughs> And oh, peanuts. I didn't even offer them to him. He went over and said, oh, man, peanuts. I love peanuts. And he sat there. And I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. He ate, oh, probably 50, 50 or 60 peanuts. It's like, and I wanted to say, hey, those are for the squirrels. They're not for you and consumption. But I didn't because I'm a good host. That's a true story. This is funny. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Eating my uh, squirrels. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Jeez, Paul. Thanks for talking to us. It's been my pleasure. It truly has oh, been. Look at the squirrel. Squirrel. I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I, uh, I actually did one of the dogs in Up. So whenever somebody said squirrel, we all turned our head. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> so there you go. There we go. Ooh, are you on? Uh, are you on social media? I am on social media. I'm on Twitter. Yep. It's four, the number four, Paul Eiding, P A U L E I D I N G. Uh, Instagram, just my name, Paul right. Eiding. Are the pictures of squirrels on Instagram? Uh, no, I, I, actually there are on Instagram some pictures right. of my squirrels. We'll have to take a look. And Facebook. Yeah, I'm everywhere. <laughs> And also, Blastosaurus. Look up Blastosaurus on Instagram and Facebook. That's it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just I started rocking out their music. Music. <laughs> yeah. Oh, All right. All right. Let's see who else we can find. It's uh, Comic-Con Ont Comic Revolution, Ontario. That's, That's it. it. Cool. Cool. There we go. One Thanks, time. guys. Sure. Yep. No. You. Yeah. No, no, I was gonna like fist bump, fist bump. Oh, fist bump. Yeah. Gotta blow it up. Gotta blow it up. Oh yeah, got it.